Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been so long. <laughs> I'm sorry it's been so long. Um, the reason it's been so long, which way do I look? It's been so long, I don't even know which place to look. I believe right there. Um, I think it was a couple of days after I'd done my last video, which was going on two weeks ago. I'm really not positive. My all time has escaped me. Um, but I got sick again, and um, so it was very close together, you know, from my last time. And so I um, I stayed sick about five, six days. I'm talking about really sick. And so once I got to feeling better, um, I went to my doctor, and I know that's kind of, you know, when you get to feeling better, I want to go to your doctor. But the only reason was because I wanted to be tested to see if I still had the whatever it was in me. Flu, COVID, whatever supposed to be happening here. So, um, I did go to my GP. And um, I didn't have, you know, the flu or the COVID. So, he was like, well, have you um, had a chest x-ray in a while? And I was like, well, you're my GP. But... Um, no, <laughs> you know, he's never done one on me. I have had a chest x-ray, but it's been, gosh, I want to say 25 years ago. Um, but I've had bronchitis after bronchitis after bronchitis, um, which is what he diagnosed me with. I don't think that's what it was because it's not been anything that I've ever experienced, just like the last time. Um, so anyway, long story short, he uh, said, well, he doesn't have an x-ray machine in his office. So he said um, he was going to send me to an imaging center and get um, a chest x-ray and a, a CT scan of my lungs. So, um, and I was still really sick when I went and had that done, um, which has been, when did I have that done? couple of three Fridays ago, y'all, time has just escaped me, and I really don't, um, the reason I say this sickness is so different than anything I've ever felt, um, is because it's almost like a mind thing, too, and it's like, you know, everything just is foggy, and I just don't, you know, can't remember things correctly, and, um, so it's been, it's been a struggle, for sure, so I went and had the CAT scan, and the chest x-ray and um it you know the the cat scan goes i don't know about the chest x-ray maybe true too i don't really know but the cat scan goes from you know kind of here down lower to like right above where your kidneys begin or right at the beginning i'm not real sure but anyway so um this is what they kind of come back as several, several things. Um, I knew that my lungs were not going to be in great shape because I've had COVID. I don't know how many times. Um, I've had bronchitis. I don't know how many times. I um, was a smoker, so that there contributes so much. And I was really afraid, um, nervous to get the CAT scan. But um, I knew that I needed to know, you know, what was going on. So, um, I'm going to try to remember. I do have this, um, what they sent me from um, Im an Im the imaging center that I went to. And, uh, but this here just tells about um, the lungs. It doesn't really say the other things that are involved. But the, the um, test result that um, the radiologist read does tell me that. So, um, it just, just says, you know, that you need to come back in six months, basically. But, um, let's see if I can, because I knew I would forget once I got on here what, you know, the actual um, things they found were. They found, um, and this was um, low dose lung screening CD. CD, <laughs> CT, CAT scan, um, low dose, I, I guess it's low dose radiation, really not sure, I think that's what it is, but anyway, um, and they found, um, s s 
small lung nodules. There's probably four or five in there and um, along with COPD and some emphysema, which um, I didn't know. I knew about the COPD probably, but I didn't know about, you know, anything else. But um, so there's lung nodules and they're all, let's see if it says how big they are on here. I don't think it does. Um, I think the biggest one, I mean, they're all millimeters. They're all small. I mean, there's not, they're not up into the centimeters, but they're all, you know, but anyway, there's several of them. So they told me just to come and, um, in six months and get a, a rescan. And if they grow, then, you know, obviously there's something else. Ooh. And, uh, it's weedy out here today, but, um, anyway, and then they found, um, <clears throat> calcification in my, um, cause you know, it shows your heart. It's not going to show like, um, you know, a, a lot of detailed information on your heart. It's just going to show <sighs> what it showed was calcification of my, um, arteries. So I'm assuming that's not good. <laughs> that's probably not supposed to be there, but it's probably, I've tried to look it up, but it's just so, you know, you, you go on to WebMD and you're going to find anything from, um, well, you're going to find everything and you, it just confuses me. So I really don't want to, um, look too much into it, but, um, and then it showed, which I don't feel like this is much of anything because I'm not having symptoms. I do have shortness of breath and even with my oxygen level, it's like 96 today. It wasn't when I was sick, it was not good at all. But today it's like 94, 95, 96, um, which is good, but I still feel out of breath. So um, I'm believing that's probably, and my doctor thinks that's probably a heart thing, the heart not getting enough oxygen or blood or whatever it needs to be getting. Um, so he was, he said, I'm going to send you to a cardiologist. And that was last Monday, I think it's been a week or so. And, um, but the nurse, the, the nurses there always forget. So they forgot. I called them this is today, Saturday. I called them yesterday. She didn't say she forgot, but when I called the cardiologist, they said that, um, they didn't have the referral. So I knew she forgot because she's done it before. And, uh, so she said that she would do it again, but by the time um, they would have gotten it. Their office would have been closed, the cardiologist office. So I'm going to go in to see them. And there's a two um, centimeter um, spot on my kidney, which is um, they don't they don't think that's anything. But I don't I don't know. I'm not really symptomatic. Maybe a little bit of urinary tract something going on sometimes, but I don't know if that's anyway one thing at a time. <laughs> I'm gonna to go to the cardiologist first if I can ever get the referral. Hopefully it's been called in by now. Um, but I just wanted to let you guys know what's going on because it's been so long since I've been on here and um, I've been meaning to come on. I just really haven't felt good today. I did go to the grocery store and I did go get some other things that, that I needed, but um, it's just been it's like I can't breathe going from, you know, one end of the house to the other, or even outside walking, or I'm trying to stay out of the bed, laying down, because that's not good. And I'm trying to just get up and move as much as I possibly can. And um, so, you know, I don't know, I will probably, because you know, you have to be your own advocate. You have to, you have to um, tell these doctors what you want, really, you do. And um, so I'm gonna go to the cardiologist first and now he may be able to tell me more about the lung thing um, because, you know, waiting six months is okay, but um, what if it is something? What if it's something and it grows fast? Six months, it could be really out of control, you know? I'm not saying it is anything, but um, I should have gone for, I, I, man, my body has not let me down. I've let my body down. So that's just pure fact. So, you know, I always think, you know, you always think, oh, this couldn't happen to me, but um, obviously, yes, it can. So, um, you know, I would not be surprised if it was something else um, besides just a nodule or whatever. Um, 
so a benign nodule I wouldn't be surprised and um but it's just the not being able to breathe and I'm trying my best to move around as much as possible I get dizzy a lot and like I said shortness of breath so that's not good so anyway I just wanted to let you guys know and um if you guys know anything about the, or if you've ever had the, um, cause I really can't find any, I don't know if it's called calcification. I can't look it up because it's on my phone um, to be able to say exactly what, I think it was calcification, but I'm really not positive. It's where the arteries are hardened, but it's, it's kind of inside the artery. Does that make sense? So if any of you guys have had it, please let me know your experience with it and what you had to have done. And I know there's a score, like how thick it is, if I'm understanding what I did find to be correct. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's been going on. And I just really haven't been able to um, talk long enough to, you know, to breathe through uh, talking that much. Um, I still have a head cold, and this has been going on forever. I don't know if it's sinuses, I don't know if it's allergies, but I've already taken um, antibiotic after antibiotic, and I don't think I want to, um, you know, take any more antibiotics right this second. Um, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to let y'all know what's going on, and I appreciate you. I really do for watching and caring, and uh, we'll see. I'm just going to go to hopefully go to a cardiologist really soon. Um, and hopefully this coming up week and then i'll know more but if you know you had any experience please let me know and um i'll see you guys soon y'all have a good one